I just kind of was thinking the whole time, I was like, if we don't win, this is my fault. What makes our sport really unique is it, it is a relationship. It's more than just really, to me, the sport. You're, you're growing with that person. The part about beach volleyball that's interesting is how big chemistry is to me. It's like, if you get the right two guys together, they can be a great sum of their parts. It's like, if you don't have that click like chemistry, then it's like, oh, I guess it just doesn't work. Yeah, so AVP partnerships. A partnership is called a partnership for a reason. You get very close. You are doing all of your training and lifting and everything together, and you're working so hard as a unit. Some people do like, it's, it's business. Like, we show up to practice, you know, we do our work, talk about volleyball things, and then we'll go about and, you know, live our lives. I'm not that way at all. I'm like the opposite. When things aren't going our way, the other person's always there, and that's what you get from playing with like one of your best friends. Whether we go out the night before and we're playing like dog shit, like no matter what, we're we're a team, and uh, you know we have each other's back. Win or lose, qualify, don't qualify, get a gold medal, get a 17th at the Olympics. I want to be standing beside a guy that at the end of the day I can look him in the face, he can look me in the face and we can be like, we've done what we need to do to be here. Let's go see what happens. There's a trust factor that you want in a partner. There's figuring out how you mesh together and the mental game and physically, do you guys compliment each other? It's important to try to find someone that you vibe well with and have chemistry with on and off the court. The thing about it is everybody's so good now that like if, you, if you're just off a little bit, that's all the difference between like you being able to play at a high level and make stops as a team, side out as a team. I'm very like relational. Like I want to go to Disneyland with you and like get to know you. I want to like know your family. So that like is really important to me and that I think just helps bring out the best in me because if I know you better, like, I'm gonna fight for you harder. There's a lot that goes into it and it's a challenge, um, but when you find the right fit, it's a lot of fun and I mean, that's what you strive for. Put two amazing guys together and it might not ever work. And I've seen that so many times, but like, it's almost like something you probably shouldn't take for granted as a player too. Like everyone's always trying to upgrade and stuff. It's like, well, things are working pretty well with this guy. Yeah. Coming from the guy who's like had a lot of partners since he <laughs> comes to the US. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, you're like, okay, yeah, sure. What are like two things that kind of stand out in your mind that like make a good partner? There's just like a clear determination to win and just a skill set that's like undeniably great. She has like, you know, this next level intensity that's really fun and I really enjoy that in a partner. If you can find someone that you really like and you really think that, you know, with a good coach and, you know, a year or two commitment that you guys can do well together and grow as people, as players. I think that's the name of the game is when you do commit, that's like where the fruit is. She has become someone that knows me deeply and I anticipate will be one of my best friends. And obviously, off the court stuff is really important. So it's great that we get along and we have a lot of similarities. So now that we're meeting as like these women that are like unapologetically who we are, of course still learning and evolving, but now we get to kind of be curious about each other and support each other face to face, which is great. Yeah, more women should be doing that. <laughs> There's a sense of really having to know yourself and your style and what you have to offer to the game. It's a combination of the elements of your interpersonal relationship, your physical capability, your communication with your partner. We're not like, oh, I have a tough tournament. I'm gonna, what, we're just gonna be like, not communicate about what's going on. It's like we're addressing issues as soon as they pop up. Having a plan beforehand definitely can help and talking about it after, even if it's a tough conversation, telling each other what you need more of in that moment and maybe what you liked in that moment. It's like, oh, like first tournament, I was struggling a little bit here and here. Da -da -da, this is what I'm gonna change different. This is how I'm gonna run my play this way. Da -da -da. That that creates gives yourself an opportunity to be able to like move forward pretty quick after a tough one. Making great calls and their communication is really on point. I mean, a lot of it is just talking about it and getting it off your chest and vocalizing it, and then focusing on like the things I can control and the cues I can control in practice, and maybe not letting my head spin so far negative and 
like looking at the positive things. So we're, we're putting that foot forward and just addressing things as they come up right away. Talking with your partner and telling them what you want in that moment from them because it's inevitable. Even in a match you're gonna win, you're gonna face some challenges. So it's just stuff like that. Volleyball wise, like if he makes a mistake, he knows what it is already. It's not me like saying, hey, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter like if she plays really well and I don't and we win, like that's awesome. You know, like we compliment each other. And so I think that's the best way to improve. I think being real about it, like what do we need to get better at? This. You know, I, you probably didn't side out the level you normally do. So what do we need to change now with the next two weeks to be, to be at that level? And then there's always going to be tweaking things to do. But I think like getting that baseline of like where we know we can play and then continuing to improve that way. It's uh, that's the whole reason why I'm in this. It's super fun. That's like to me, it's like we're close, but we can take that step. There's definitely that thought of like, OK, he dumped me, especially for someone that's not as good as me, I think. Partnerships are so interesting and so unique to this sport, and there is nothing like it besides dating. You don't quit your job before you find a new one. So you never break up with your partner before you have your new one set up. 